Welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to be doing a portfolio update. If you are brand new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. We do this every week, once a week, updating you guys on my portfolio, whether it goes straight down or straight up, we will see. But recently, we have been seeing really good growth with this portfolio, so I'm really happy with that. And yeah, so if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button as I do these once a week. Also, give this video a like if you do enjoy this. I want to see, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I want to see if we can hit 100 likes again because on the previous video we ended up hitting like 120 likes which is mad, like actually madness. So thank you so much for that. The support has been amazing and I just want to say thank you so much again because honestly it is so, it's much appreciated. I, I started this YouTube channel just for fun and obviously it still is fun but like I didn't really expect it to do how well it's done to be honest with you and yeah I'm still shocked if I'm honest anyway let's get into this portfolio all right so we're in the first bit of the portfolio this is the ISA long term hold ones I've got two shares of Alibaba I'm down seven pound on this like we said it's just literally staying stagnant at the moment um, it's not really going up or down if I'm honest we've been at the seven pound mark for quite a while I think we were on it last week so it's just stayed the same really Apple Kind of the same story, hovering around the same sort of mark, um, £25. So, got seven shares of Apple, not doing too bad, it's just nice to hold one of the most valuable companies in the world, I guess. <laughs> Aston Martin, 2.63 shares. I just, I love how I'm just holding this, I just don't know what to do with it. I'm up 119% on this. I just bought it when it was <laughs> stupidly low, and I was like, I'm gonna buy a few shares, and I did, and we're up. 119% Barrett Developments, same again, nine shares. I'm gonna go quick through the ones that haven't really been changed that much. So that Barrett Development, nine shares still, up 21%. Beyond Me, 1.1 shares, 29%, uh, nearly 30% actually. Bio Nano Genomics, it's had a really good performance um, this week, to be honest with you. We, I think we were up 110% or something like that last week. We are now up 150%, so this has had an amazing day. It had a really good Friday. It went up like 15, 16%, I believe. Um, if you looked on the analysis, if you actually did a graph, we could see there was gonna be a breakout. And so I kind of was expecting this anyway, but yeah, lovely to see a nice increase. Churchill Capital, this is probably one of my favorite stocks at the moment. Uh, 69 shares of this, we are up 40%, so £572, nice amount of money there. Um, it's because there was a bit more news on the merge with Lucid Motors, as you, if you didn't know, Churchill Capital are going to be move, merging with Lucid Motors, well we hope, and it does look very promising that it's happening, hence why it went up 26% on the Friday. So this is a backstory, bought into Jivo, 27 shares as you can see, I ended up selling my AT&T shares because last week I did ask you guys, should I sell my dividend stocks, and I went ahead and sold it, and I ended up buying um, some shares of Jivo using the, the money I sold with AT&T and I also bought another stock that I'll get into but yeah Jivo I love this company it's a biofuel company so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where this can go and I think I believe Bill Gates's fund is bought in has invested in this company or something like that so bought 27 shares I didn't buy loads but I bought enough that I could see some good gains with it so I might load up on a few more shares with Jivo, so yeah, that's that's a company that I've ended up buying into. Palantir, we've had a shocking week with Palantir, but I'm not worried because we knew this was gonna happen, if I'm honest. I kind of thought it was gonna happen next week, but um, yeah, we're down to $31. Um, but we've lost a lot of money with this. I say we've lost, well, I'm still up 19%, nearly 20%, but we were up nearly a thousand pound with this stock and now it's at 455. But it's because of this lockup period that's coming. People are scared that insiders are gonna sell off next week and they probably will. So there's, it's, there's probably gonna be, be a bit more downside. So I might be loading up then. And then after, once the lockup period's finished, I think we can see this stock run up to the $50 mark. So Realty Income, this is another one that you might not see next week. I think I'm happy with the profits I've made actually. I bought in when they were quite low. I'm up 6%, nearly 7% on this. And I think I'm gonna sell it off and end up buying another stock. So stay tuned for next week's video because I've got a pretty good company that I'm interested in buying. But I'm not gonna say yet because I don't know if I will. But yeah, stay tuned for that for next week's because I think it'll be an interesting company. And then the S&P 500, boring. So that is my long-term hold portfolio, the ISA. 
and I'm up 23% on this 1,470 pound return, which isn't bad at all. And we would have seen a 2,000 pound return, I reckon, if Palantir didn't drop. So that's crazy. I've, to be honest with you, it's kind of all evened out because of how well Sir Churchill Capital did and all the other stocks. So I'm very happy considering we had like two mini sell offs this week, last week. Anyway, let's get into the other portfolio. And bearing in mind, this other portfolio is my swing trading slash stocks I can't buy in the ISA portfolio. Aero, I don't know if I've said that right. This looks like a really cool promising company. I haven't looked into it so much, but it's more of a, well, it is a swing trade. This one is a swing trade. I bought in when they've done a stock offering. I can see this running up a bit more. I did some technical analysis with this stock and yeah, we're up £17.87 and uh, yeah, and this is a swing trade. So you probably won't see this in next week's video, but the money I make on this profit be going into another swing trade or in, or into my long, long term hold um, portfolio. So yeah, that's that. CKPT Checkpoint Therapeutics. I've got 74 shares of this. Same again, another stock offering, buying it when it's cheap um selling on when it's high and also yeah you just that's that's just another one i have done so stay tuned for next week because let who knows how well it it will do so i'm pretty confident it will do very well so yeah this will be interesting how it performs next week ehang this is a awesome company this is where i bought most of my shares from the the at t shares that i sold put into this ehang 124 dollars it is it's kind of like people are comparing it to like the whole, you know, the Tesla hype. Well, this is like for drones. So drones where like you can have like fire engine jo drones. So say like there's a flat that is on fire, send up the drones, like it puts out the fire. There's a lot of cool things with this company that I'm very intrigued about. And this is a future stock. This could do well in the next 10 years, if I'm honest, if five years. So yeah, and currently I'm up 46% and I bought this a few days ago. So amazing returns. Although I have seen a lot of the swing traders buying into this because they saw a breakout. So I will be expecting a bit of a drop off or a bit of a sell off possibly next week. So, but yeah, lovely returns at the moment. Hire car, same again. There was a stock offering, but I didn't buy in the, at the stock offering. This was more because it is a good company. It's a decent, solid company. And I can see this retesting the highs. Another swing trade. Um, I am down at the moment, but that's that's fine. I think next week we can see a decent return with this and I'll sell it on. Neo's had an interesting one. It, it, it had a bit of a gain. We've had a bit of a gain of 5%. I say a bit, that's pretty sick. Um, we're up 28% with NEO to 35 shares. This is this is one of my long-term holds. It's not a swing trade. This is one of my long-term holds. You just can't get this in the ISA. So yeah, same with the Yihang one, by the way. Space Virgin Galactic, to be honest with you, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I know you can buy this in the ISA, but I just don't want to sell it because it's an interesting stock, you know. I think this could have a sell-off, but I'm up 133% and yeah, it's, one, it's just an interesting stock of like, where is this stock going to go? Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just leaving it for now. VNRX, another stock offering, bought in this for a swing trade, down at the moment, but I think next week we are going to see a nice run up as the stock offering finished on the Friday. So next week we should see a nice little run up. Zemedica, I actually do like this company, if I'm honest. I did make a video and I'm tempted to buy this in my ISA account, long term hold, because I like the company, I like what it's doing, I, I like where I can see this going in the next two to three years. I bought in at the stock offering and this is a swing trade at the moment for me. But I do like this company and I'm thinking of possibly buying this in my long term portfolio. So that's that for this portfolio. I am, I've got, I've got a return of nearly 26%, £788. And yeah, total is 3,830. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it all up and see how much the end result is of my whole portfolios together. So the portfolios put together adds up to £11,538. I'm amazed with that. I'm so happy with that. Although I did put a bit of more money into it because of the swing trades. So 
Hence why we have seen a big bit of a run up with my portfolio since last week. As last week's was £10,400, so we've had a gain of £1,100, which is a lot of money in a week, if I'm honest. But then, like I said, I did put some more money in for the swing trades, so yeah. But it's an interesting journey, this, to be honest with you. Um, documenting it since, was it 1st of January? I can't remember. Anyway, so if you did enjoy this portfolio update, hopefully it wasn't too long, because I do hate it when videos are too long, but at the same time, I don't want to be missing out of things and stuff and cutting it up. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Give this video a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment below any questions or queries or anything really. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video.